Hey guys, welcome back to another Guilt Wars 2 video. So today we'll, we'll be talking about how pugs do CM100. I know there are a lot of people out there who want to do level 100 CMs with pugs, but they're afraid to because they don't know how the pugs work. It's typically when they have a private group, but then, you know, one day, two or three or four, or maybe they quit and then they come back, but they, you know, still know how to do 100, but they just don't remember how the pugs do it. So this is a video describing how pugs do cm 100 so right now as you can see everything is same we just go over here this again is not explaining the mechanics of this you can watch someone else explain the mechanics more thoroughly i am going to explain what pugs are going to do so right now we are dpsing right at this moment we are slowly see seeing right here just wait until we see red circles like this one right here then we see see and then we attack until her health comes to 66% and she will phase. If she does not phase in 66%, you will have to do the jumping and you don't want to do that. There's going to be lightning and you have to grab the orbs. But in pugs, we always have enough DPS to get to this phase without grabbing orbs. So now we're just going to go over here, uh, follow the teammates. We're going to use portal. So we're going to try to avoid these blasts right here. We jump over these lavas over here and then... Um, we just keep running to safe spots and uh, we're going to about to portal soon. Now there's going to be two people getting these rocks, right? And someone's going to drop a portal right in the middle and then we port in and then we're going to start attacking the middle boss again and just be careful. And then we're going to get around behind the rock so you don't get injured and you have to be careful about this rock. It explodes and can knock you down, either block or evade it out of the way and then just go back to the boss and CC as we CC right, uh, not CC as an attack. So we're not going to CC this phase right here because it's not worth it. Even if you CC a little bit, it's not going to continue on to when she gets another bar break bar. So she's going to still have full break bar. Don't waste her CC there. Split up again, go over here. Every time she goes to the middle, you're going to always want to uh, split up and then you go back to the center. This is where you want to slow CC until she summons those red circles and then you will cc if you don't do that she's gonna you know drop meteors again and all that stuff you don't want to do so just slow cc until you see red circle that's when you right there that's when you fast cc and then just dps until she phases again at this phase we're gonna stand in the middle someone drops a portal right here it could be you or anyone else and then we're all gonna be pushed back to this side once we hit the corner Wait a few seconds, drop the portal, go back into the middle, and everybody will stand within the green circles here. And uh, as we, as usual, we switch off for taking damage for that black orb. So uh, basically, let me just split, explain like some of the mechanics, I guess, while we wait and figure out what the boss is going to do next. Basically, there is a black line going to connect with one person. You're going to have 10 stacks. Uh, you're going to go 1 to 10 stacks of debuff. That will d instantly down you if you do not uh, give it off if it reaches 10. So someone else has to grab it and rotate off. You have five people. There's enough people for you to rotate that black uh, ball line thing you see. Okay, now we got the next. Remember the green circle. You, got, you all want to be within that green circle so you guys split the damage. Now you go here. Again, do not CC when she's on the side uh, like this. So you just want to attack 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 now go back to the center again you're gonna have to avoid the blast right here and then try not to get any of your teammates it's okay to overlap the circles within your other teammates just not on top of them now you come over here remember slow cc again uh you can also you know cc now because she's almost dead but you could slow cc wait until she has red circles and then now fast CC and then just DPS. And this is done for phase one. Again, I am not explaining all the mechanics in this fight. I'm explaining what pugs do in this fight. So if you are a returning player that you have done 100 CMs factor with a private group before and you did it a different way, this is how a pug does it. So if you already have DWD, everybody GG's so that the whole phase will uh, increase. Like um, you'll get to the event much more quicker so you just want to wait out the black stuff will go away and then you'll see clearly you cannot buff in this kind of fractal so you just have to grab your miss lock and just go do not do alacrity until you hit the boss and in combat otherwise it's just gonna wait it's gonna be wasted now you just go and attack this boss remember do not cc here yet until she teleports to a different spot so just keep dpsing her at the corner now she's teleporting now she's gonna summon some bombs everybody must split up 
as you can see here make sure you don't get hurt by that lightning strike and then you go to the boss again she's going to use a lot of red circles just dodge through it now attack this boss this is where you slow cc so you're going to slow cc attack until there is red circles when there's red circle you fast cc usually it's around the fourth hit now you fast cc and then you kill it now we were a little slow there but this is a pug remember it's not going to always be perfect but that's where you want to cc when you see red and quickly cc now you come over here you attack this this is where it's different you're going to have a scourge in your team the scourge will take care of the um, shadow ghost that needs to be cc typically before so if you have scourges they're going to take care of it with epi and if you do not you're going to have to use your revenant to uh, cc the first side so now you just go over here watch out and not touch those uh ghost that flies around you want to try to be careful so you want to make sure that this guy has enough health to withstand that next cc if he has all if he's already almost at 33 percent health do not cc because that will mess up the the shades and stuff like that so if he is at like 40 percent and he has that green bar cc as fast as possible before he hits 33 percent so that you can dps him down to 33 percent then you can go and sit in the middle again for this if you do not have scourges in your team you're going to split off left for revenant and firebrand to take care of that cc shade and then right side will be the dps to take care of that cc all right and if you have scourges in your team you will just epi and you do not have to worry about ccing those things so your revenant and firebrand can just stay in the middle healing and doing its thing and just dps the middle now again with these fears you want to just try to avoid it uh it's best to not worry about your dps here if you're just gonna die so try to avoid the fears and then cc as fast as possible or you can wait until it has that you know, red things and then or or you can wait a little bit and then just finish it off and that's pretty much it for the level 100 of course i do i would also try and miss something because all these videos are always one take and if i do miss something i'll comment below and you can read about it or if people comment and have better suggestion of what's going on just let me know down below and i will pin it so that's all i have for this video and hopefully you learn something all right bye